Hi, my name is Todd Peterson. I'm a product marketing manager on the Identity and Access Management team. And today we're going to talk about privileged account management. As everybody realizes, privileged account management is a major challenge and one of the largest challenges in identity and access management. Some of the specific things that everybody faces, and I'm sure you're the same, is that it's very difficult to manage privileged accounts. Um, there is a large security risk. Most breaches happen because of misuse or abuse of privileged accounts. And they're very touchy from a compliance standpoint. Virtually every regulation requires that you control access to privileged accounts and that you enforce separation of duties with those privileged accounts. So from a management, security, and compliance standpoint, they're very difficult and very challenging. One of the reasons they're so challenging is you have so many systems. You have devices with privileged accounts. You have servers with privileged accounts, databases, mainframes, applications. Everything that runs your IT organization has a privileged account, and those privileged accounts have, have risk associated with them. The super users that need to use those accounts range from administrators, help desk people, developers, even third-party vendors, and other applications that need to talk to databases or other applications to exchange information. They need a privileged account in order to do that as well. So there's a lot of risk associated with the privileged accounts. They are very powerful. They allow you to do anything and everything that you may need to do on a system, even things that you maybe should not do on the system. There's no individual accountability because the account is tied to the system and not to an individual person. There's no way of knowing who did what, when they did it, or even natively what they did with the account. So there's a number of solutions to help solve the privileged account management problem. And ideally, you would use all three solutions for a complete holistic approach. The first is a privilege safe, which we'll talk about in a second, followed by implementing a least privilege access model and then the ability to monitor and log what people do with those super user accounts when they're issued them. Let's move on. So first is privilege safe technology. Imagine what you would do if you were manually controlling all of your privileged accounts. You'd have the passwords written in a binder, locked in the safe, and when anybody ever anybody needs to do work, you're going to go get it out of the safe, give it to them, watch what they do, come back when they're done and you know go in manually and change the password. Well, a privilege safe, like the one from the One Identity Solutions, allows you to automate and secure that whole process. So here's how it worked. I'm an administrator and I need to access a system to do some work. I'm going to make a request through the privilege safe. That request is going to be checked against the policy and it's either going to ask my boss for approval or grant me access because I've been approved pre-approved. Once authorization is given, the privilege safe issues me the password. I'm then able to do the work that I needed it to do. But you can also use the privilege safe to audit what I'm doing, to watch what I do. You can control what I'm able to do. Some commands I may be able to perform, others I may not. And you can limit the time. I only have it for half an hour and I'm only able to reset a password or whatever. And you're watching it the whole time. Then when I'm done, you turn it back in and the safe automatically changes the password locks it back away for the next person to use. So it's a very secure, very automated way to overcome the problem of shared passwords and lack of individual accountability with those shared passwords. The second thing that you'll want to do is to implement a least privilege model because you don't always want to give everybody the full administrative credential. For instance, the root account on Unix systems or the admin account on any applications or Active Directory. You want to give people the ability to do their jobs, but not the ability to do more than their jobs. And so you will delegate that access. One of the great examples of how to delegate access is a open source tool that comes with every Unix and Linux box called sudo. S-U-D-O, it stands for super user do. And it allows you to write a policy file that says user A can do a specific thing and not another thing. The problem with sudo is it's applied on every single server. So in our example here, we have four Unix servers. Each of those servers has sudo on it, and each of those copies of sudo has a file that's been written that says what each user is able to do and not do. Problem is, if you have a hundred or a thousand or more servers, you have a lot of redundancy, a lot of places that things can go wrong, and a lot of policy files to keep track of. One Identity Solutions has a way to overcome the native shortcomings of sudo. Rather than write a policy file individually on every single server, you're going to centralize them all. 
in a single place, which then allows you to write the file once and push it out everywhere, which gives you consistency of policy and the ability to know that that policy is accurate. In addition, that then gives you the ability to report on the policy, and it adds things like keystroke logging to the capability, so you have auditing as well. Now, another key capability for Unix systems is what's called an Active Directory Bridge. You may be familiar with this technology. It's where user accounts on Unix and Linux systems are eliminated in favor of a single account on Active Directory. So in our example here, we have our four servers, and you see a dozen or so different users. What an Active Directory Bridge will do is draw all those users and their Active Directory account into Unix. So these individual accounts on the Unix boxes go away and you use a more secure authentication method through Active Directory and the group and role management capabilities of Active Directory to control the access to those servers. That can then be applied to the delegation tool which is either sudo or a sudo replacement such as our privilege manager for Unix solution. So, what you get with One Identity Solutions is a end-to-end -end holistic approach to privileged account management. You have the privilege safe to ensure that you don't share passwords and that you know who is accessing what and why, providing that individual accountability. You have the least privileged model where you can control who does what. You delegate what they need. That can be applied to Unix and Linux systems. It can also be applied to Active Directory and through the privilege safe to some other systems as well. And then the ability to monitor and log everything that goes on with either of those solutions. So you know who did what, when, why, and you have a forensics trail if you ever need it to find out what happened if something goes wrong. I invite you to learn more about our privileged account management solutions by going to oneidentity.com slash P-A-M. Thanks for watching.